How you doing? My name's Barney, I'm here till 12 o'clock with some great shows like Scooby-Doo and Tracy Beaker. But now, oh, it's back. This is me, all tense, waiting to find out who has won the CBBC show selector. I did a little bounce and everything, did you see it? Well, do it again, watch. There's my little bounce. Okay, the choices were even Stevens. Did you vote for that one? Apparently there's a big secret going to be discovered today. Or did you vote for the shark infested waters that involve Fran and Anya? A suggestion found in a box, apparently. Um, they are on Bring It On. Are they going to be the winners? Well, you voted in your millions. Let's get the lights down first for a bit of effect, please, fellas. Thank you. And, and a bit of tension music, I think. Oh, I like that. Okay, so, Bring It On, Even Stevens. I think the total number of votes is 45,362,906.1. Thank you to that point one of a person who voted. We can now find out who has won. I love this bit. Over here. It's even Stevens. Of course it is. This game, right, is dead good. Do you want to know why? Because it's very technical. You've got to throw custard pies at someone and earn five points for each pie you throw. Five pies, five times five is? 37, yes. So that will be your score and that will be added to what you've got already. Okay. Clear as mud? Yep. Lovely. Jean? Well, all we need now is a cherub. Now, uh, I thought it would be quite difficult finding a volunteer. Yes. But I've actually got someone to do it. Should we meet them? Yeah. Okay, open the curtains. Oh, dear. It was supposed to be Miss Jones, the head. But, um, Barney, you're going to have to do it. Yes. Should we put Barney behind the cherub? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, guys, so Barney's told you how it works. All you have to do is hit Barney right in his lovely face with one of the pies. Can okay? I stay here, please? Come through, come on, don't be shy. <laughs> right, are you ready? Come on, big cheer, guys. Right, in three, two, one, go. Oh! <laughs> And uh, Liam, can you do even better than that? Take him, go on. Go on, Liam. Right in the face. Oh! <laughs> All right, Francis. Try another one. Haven't had one on the nose yet. Leave the nose out of it. <laughs> this is going so well. Yes, it's time for Smile, and yes, once again, Nev is fast asleep. With his doggy, look at him. Bless him. Now, I had a bit of an idea this morning. I've gone back to basics, basically, because every week I try and wake him up. I've tried all sorts. We've had opera singers, we've had road diggers, uh, there's been alarm clocks. But one of Nev's favourite things is actually jam. And so what I've done is I've made some jam on toast. Mm -hmm. I've made one for Ducky as well, a one for Ducky. And I thought I'd do the old smell test and see if it works. I bet it does. Watch this. See that? Isn't that amazing how that works? Mmm. Mmm, jam. Nice. See, now he's having jam dreaming. This is the first stage of waking up. He'll then come to realisation. He'll wake up. Hey, hey! Good morning, mate. How are you doing? Hello. That worked quite jam, well. Please. Yeah, I've got some jam on toast for you there. And there's some for Ducky as well. I've got a little bit here for Ducky. Ducky, try. There you go, have a little bit. Jam. Very nice. Mine. Some. It is yours. Listen, mate, I've got to tell you something, though. That's the last of your jam. Yeah, sorry. It's all gone. That's that's all there is. But, but, jam. Well, I know you. I know you like jam, but, mate. But, but my it's, it's, jam. I, well, mate, Nev, look. There's some. There's some here. You can have that. But, but after that, it's all gone. Last jam. Well, you know what? They've had, there's an amazing invention that's happened recently. There's a there's a thing called the shops. <gasps> oh. It's a magical world. Really. Shops. And all you do is you go there and you buy more jam. Yeah, yeah, lolly. Yeah, a trolley. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We, can, we can get a trolley, that's fine. Wobbly wheel. There's always a wobbly wheel. I don't know why that happens. I know. That's what Nev does when he's in the seat. You know that little seat at the front? Is all the way around. Well, listen. Yeah, okay, listen, so we can get more jam, so we're OK. okay. So what I thought we'd do is we'd get a shopping list, all right? So what do we want on it? I've got jam. Um, jam. Yeah, I've got jam. I've got jam there. And, um, oh, I'll put another one on. OK, we'll put Jam. One. You want... You want another jam. another jam? Okay, yes, that's fine. And, um, uh, anything else? Jam. This could take a um, while, couldn't it? Oh, oh, Barney! Yeah? Jam. No kidding. All right, yeah, let, yeah. let's watch Arthur. And, uh, yep, jam. 
I've put jam down. Okay, here's Arthur. We'll Sir, see you please. In a bit. Okay, what else? Though? What else? Jam. I've got jam. You'll see lots of signs like this all over the place. Restricted access, cast and crew only, whatever. We're going wherever we like, people. And we're taking you with us. Now, you've heard the phrase, save the best till last. Well, um, that takes too long for me, so I'm going to save the best first, if that kind of works. Look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the TARDIS. The actual TARDIS. Can we go on it? I'm going on it whether you like it or not. Oh, look at this. My dream, I am the Time Lord. Right, where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? Uh, handbrake off. Oh. How about if we go to uh, 1966 World Cup? That's what it's all about. OK, here we go. Whoa! You know what? Oh, that's not good. I I've broken the TARDIS on my first day. Oh, I'm only kidding. That was special effects. Courtesy of our special effects team, Rich and Danny. How you doing, fellas? Not bad, you right? Cheers, that was fantastic. You're going to be showing us more of that a bit later. A few treats for you, yeah. Lovely stuff. Stay tuned for that. Cursed, I'm loving it. Right, back to the game. Now, this is the badge that everyone wants. And once you join the prank patrol, I'll give you one of these, which means you are a VIP, a very important prankster. And believe it or not, some of you are really hard to get hold of. And that's when I have to be, let's say, inventive. Oh, that's definitely him. Hello. Intercept TV signal. That's definitely her. Let's go get our prankster, dear. Liz Hartley? Yeah. Eric Fish? Yes. Helena Smith? Yeah. How are you doing? How would you like to make your dream prank come true? Yeah. You would? Then congratulations. You are the newest member of the Prank Patrol. You'll need this. And you'll also need this. One sorcerer. 14 hopefuls, two weeks at magic school. There can only be one winner. Hello and welcome to The Sorcerer's Apprentice. On today's show, the pupils get to grips with the tools of the magician's trade. <laughs> and the sorcerer reveals his extraordinary powers. If you like the chick, guys, you're going to love the chicken. <laughs> At the Sorcerer's Magic School, boys and girls from all over the country are competing to become the Sorcerer's Apprentice. The kind of apprentice that I'm looking for, somebody that is dedicated, somebody that seeks to be skillful, somebody that aims for perfection. Ready? On Sorcerer's Apprentice Extra, we bring you the very latest news from Magic School. You can only give a round of applause for that, brilliant. Hello, Mr. Sorcerer, sir. With exclusive interviews and uncut footage. Group hug! Yeah! Hmm. Right, well, I've given Mr. Prank my dressing gown. He's had about three cups of tea, and I think he's starting to calm down. Uh, oh, marmalise that bear! <gasps> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Welcome to the Boffin Channel. Our programmes today include how to recognise dust, <gasps> different types of wood... Boring! ..and staring at wolves, what? a beginner's guide. Boring, boring, boring! What's the matter, mate? Nothing on telly? Mm. Yeah, let me have a look. You're watching the Boffin Channel. Our mm. programmes will resume shortly. Mm. Oh, no, mate, I think it's broken. Mm. Looks like you're stuck with a boffin channel, I'm afraid. I'll tell you what, I'll get Mr Prank to have a look at it. Oh, my finger! Oh, my foot! Uh, maybe a bit later. Too right, bro. Right, well, i better get to work. Now, Nev, be nice to Mr Prank. Go easy on him. Mm. Love you, Barney. I love you too. See you later. Mm. <laughs> 
the show everyone this is the only place on cbbc where you can swap things that you don't want or those things that you do want. yeah baby hey, hey barney what i'm so excited i can tell look at you you're jumping up yeah, yeah nice yeah. why do you want to know why yes please yeah because we've got genuine movie stars swapping on the show today yes of course boo boo stewart alex moraz you may know them from the uh, the little known series of movies known as twilight <laughs> oh! i guess they were in everything they're going to be speaking to our swapper a bit later so stay tuned barney yeah I'm a bit scared too. Why? Because in Twilight, Boo Boo and Alex play werewolves. <laughs> Don't be silly, Basil. There's no such thing as werewolves. Ooh. What was it? Uh, that was a wolf. Werewolf. Their wolf. <gasps> it's a werewolf, buddy. He's coming to get his buddy. Get out of here! Go to your happy place. You're fine. I think I um, I think I recognise that furry figure over there. Do you? And I'm pretty sure that he's not the shape that I know as a werewolf. Could you come out here, please? Well, what have I done now? What? Uh... <laughs> what? Yeti, what are you doing? I'm just trying to get these Boo Boo Zaylers working in time for the World Cup final tomorrow morning. The afternoon. Evening, even. Uh... <laughs> They've got a taste for dank bits in their nostrils, those zebras, bees and tigers. Now, this is a knockout game. The losers will be going home. And ultimately, only one pair will have the chance to win these fabby prizes. <laughs> OK, Team B, you lost the toss, so you're going first. <laughs> boom, boom! Right here, here we go. Three, two, one, go! A good, solid push there from Siobhan. Rosie, how are you feeling? Fine. OK, well, we're edging ever so close to the scoring zone. Here's the hand that makes the difference. We're into the scoring zone. We're at 10. We're at 25. Into 50. 75. It's a great hey! push from Siobhan. Great scoring. Good score. Good score. Top dollar, that is. Well done. Boom, boom. OK, Team Zebra, we've got Tom and Sam. Sam, how are you feeling about this event? Very confident, and I'm definitely going to win. Well, that sounds like fighting talk. Tom, you ready for this? Yeah. Okay, then, Basil, let's get the countdown, please. Here we go, Zippers. Three, two, one, go! And they're off. That's a very strong push from Tom. Seems like he's slowing down a little bit down here, though, but we are just coming into the scoring zone. Oh, we're getting close. This is still quite quick. Are they going to be at 1,000 points? Is he going to go? <laughs> and we have to take an action replay of that one. Oh, yes. Welcome to the School of Silence. This is where they send the noisiest children in the country for some intensive silent training. Today, four new pupils have got to step up to the mark and prove they've got what it takes to stay completely silent. Will they be able to keep their mouths shut when the going gets rough? Time to find out. This rabble are from Kent. What a racket. They're currently being assessed by the headmistress and the form tutor. Right, come to the front! <laughs> right, you! Name! That's Danica. Apparently her mum says she has verbal diarrhoea. In this place, that's the worst kind of diarrhoea to have. Name! Bruce. He's often told off for being noisy and cheeky. Not sure he'll get away with that here. Next! You! Name! Luke is a keen footballer and is often heard screaming his lungs out on the pitch. You name! That's Rory, and as his name suggests, he also has a good set of lungs on him. He can't play the guitar, but loves to have a good go, as it creates lots of horrible noise. Well, it's a tough team, and with so much energy, it's hard to imagine this lot will ever stay quiet. Right, get out! That's it! Yes, get out, all of you! <laughs> Australia, home of the possum, cool surfer dudes, strange lingo, now worries mate, fair dinkum. Lots of sunshine and the Bonza Barrier Reef. It's the biggest, most spectacular coral reef in the world. And what's more, every creature is linked to another. 
Just imagine one huge family tree dating back 18 million years. From the minuscule to the mammoth to the miraculous, they're all connected in Barney's Barrier Reef. I'm here to talk about something that we just don't talk about. It's a difficult subject. In fact, it's one of the most difficult subjects there is to talk about. However, the more you do talk about it, the easier it is to accept and understand. I'm talking about death and dying, and how we deal with it when someone close to us dies. It's not the happiest subject in the world, I know, but it is important that we talk about it. Now, two years ago, my granddad died. He was like chief prankster. You can probably see where I get it from. He used to wait under the stairs, he used to hide there. And when you walked down the stairs, he would bang on them as loud as he could, leaving you scared out of your wits and him holding his belly from laughing so much. I didn't realize how much I was gonna miss these moments until of course they weren't there anymore. And at first it is the hardest thing in the world to accept. I just didn't want to believe that I wasn't gonna see my granddad again, which is exactly how Bradley felt. He didn't want to believe what he was hearing, in this case, about his dad. Some familiar faces. Good to see you again. You must remember the first rule, of course, which is. Do not talk about Zuki! What else don't you talk about? You can pick anything, really, you know. You can pick, uh, I don't know, maybe Bolton Wanderers or Sticky Toffee Pudding. How hard it is yeah. to play the flute with your nose. Thanks, thanks, Barney. Oh, sorry, Elliot. We want to know your decision. Who are you going to choose? We'd like to choose King Zook. Ah. Oh. Um, quite shocked. Why have you picked King Zook? Uh, we think that we're, we're better than him in all ways. <laughs> in all ways? Are you, are you faster? Yep. Are you stronger? Yep. Are you smarter? Yep. Good. This could be quite interesting, then it should be a walkover. Yeah? Let's see if it is. Hola, mis amigos. Bienvenidos a Barney's America Latina. Arriba, arriba! It's showtime. Let me introduce you to a crazy carnival of creatures, from fabulously freaky frogs to hollering howler monkeys to manic meat-eating plants. Es magnifico! And what's more, they're all connected to each other in this wonderful world of wildlife by funny, fabulous, and fantastic facts. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Tres, dos, uno. Es la hora de Barney's Latin America. Saying that here in Jiaoxing, Dong architecture is the real thing. Some are saying that it's pretty good. Towers and bridges built out of wood. Drum towers reach up to the sky, and in Jiaoxing, you will see there are five. Oh, well, Ed, well, Ed, well, Ed, huh? Tell me more, tell me more. They built one for each clan. And what's more, and what's more, they did it with no plan. Tell me more, tell me more, why are they made of wood? Because the stone round here isn't really that good. No good, uh -huh. no good, uh -huh. no good. It's a great shot. Camera three, how are you doing? Welcome to I like when to you're tiny little tech. men. Do you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OK. Um, so... Yeah, hi, how are you? It's a live show, as you can tell, already. It's already on its way. Uh, we want to say thank you to Emily, who is uh, this lovely person with a thumbs Aww. up. Emily designed the set that we were studying a minute ago. Emily, it's amazing. Thank you so much. You cover your biscuit lollipop in the white chocolate and, uh, and yellow food colouring, and then you stick it onto a baking tray that's lined with paper, and that then goes into the fridge. Once you've done that, these have already been in the fridge, you're ready for decorating. And you can decorate it as you see with anything you like. I'm going to go for sunglasses and a smiley face. All the details that you need for this make are on the Blue Peter website. Head over there and check it out, people. 
Now, I think we've worked really hard today, guys. I think it's uh, it's time for a treat. Yeah! Daddy, there you go. Oh. I'm only kidding. It's the film that's the treat. Ah. Uh. I've come to Birmingham to make a film about one of my favourite things in the world. Cake. Although, to be honest, I don't think I'm in the right place. I mean, don't get me wrong, these models are absolutely amazing, but it's no Swiss roll, is it? Where's the sponge? Well, I have to say I'm a little bit embarrassed, guys. Um, we've got no film today. We can't do anything. There's no cake here. I thought there was cake, um, but there isn't, so film's off. Sorry, I've let you down there, haven't I? Oh, yes. That is what I'm talking about. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. I knew there was cake here. Believe it or not, these are all cakes. Seriously, how do they do this? This is Cake International, the UK's biggest cake decorating show. I mean, just look at it. That's a cake. But I'm not here to drool over delicious cakes. I'm taking part in a challenge. I have to create a Blue Peter pet out of cake, which will then be judged against other top designers' efforts on a special BP competition stand. So I think it's fair to say I'm going to need some serious help. This is Blue Peter, but mini. Expect epic adventures, makes, fakes, badges, pets, presenters and your host. We've only got five minutes to get ready for your Blue Peter adventure. Today I've travelled to the Isle of Man to take part in an incredible sport. It's going to take nerves of steel, real skill and extreme endurance. And, uh, and a tin bath. This is the World Tin Bath Championships and it attracts competitors from all over the globe. I'm catching up with founder Dave to find out more. Now my grandma and granddad actually had one of these tin baths in their front room and I used to have a bath in it in front of the fire in their house. That's how old these things are, that's how they far they go. Um, do they have to be tin for this race? Yes, they've got to be tin. Okay. That's, that's why it's a World Tin Bath Championship as opposed to a World Bath world Championship. World Porcelain Bath Race, yeah, yeah that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, and what does the bath have to be before it can float on water? How do you make it float? How do you make it float is you need just two one gallon cans on a, on a piece of two by one, three, four foot wide, and that puts your floats on it, tie it to the bath get a paddle and away you go. Can I put a motor on it? Can I put like an electric motor on no it? No electric motor, there's no outside agencies. Rockets, rockets on no the side, rockets, no rockets. No rockets, no, we've had that. Okay, it's just a tin bath. Standard household tin bath. I need a bath. I thought I could smell something. I think I'll do the comedy, thank you very much. Right, no, an actual bath please, Dave. <laughs> And we're off. Now, considering I've done absolutely no training for this, it seems to be going okay. I'm past the yellow boy. I'm past the yellow boy. This is great news. This is great news. I'm also not dead last because this guy in the very sparkly shirt. Okay, no, 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 I'm last. No, I'm last. That's okay. I may be last, but I'm still afloat, unlike some others. Man down. Two men down. And Barney is still going strong. Don't be too confident, Barney. No, 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 no. No! And my fellow competitors aren't helping either. Whoa. That's cheating. That's definitely cheating. All this constant paddling is starting to take its toll. This is so hard. I'm trying my hardest, but I've, I've lost all my strength because I'm using quite a lot of my energy to stick to keep this thing floating and staying upright. I'm almost halfway, but now for the tricky bit. I need to turn under the bridge. This is the hardest bit. This is where we can capsize. Am I going to do it? Keep paddling. No! Oh, no! Ah, oh, disaster! Ah! Oh, that was so hard, I was so close. I've had so much fun, and I may not be the world tin bath champion, but I gave it my very best shot. Yeah, I need a bath. A real one. Join in every Thursday on CDBC.